What's up guys? Another adventure. We're going to Antelope Island. Let's go. Got my backpack ready. Let's see, I got my life straw. Make sure I got, sure I got my headlamps. Blanket sanitizer because of pandemic. Multi-tool. Uh, insert repellent. K-Bar Sport. Yeah, I got everything. It helps if you remember your backpack. Did you want to go hiking? Oh, do you want to go? Huh? So guys, nice place to stop as you're coming into the park is the marina. Mm. You can rent electric bikes. It's just not. It's it, which is pretty cool. Kind of expensive, but it's it's fun. Or you could just bring a mountain bike. But you can also come out here and you can launch your kayak. Go for a paddle. Look at the wildlife. Just enjoy the views. Just really beautiful out here. Watch the bird in the middle of the screen and you'll see a black cloud. Those are flies. Oh, he flew. We lost our bird. I'll give you guys a close-up shot in a minute. You guys probably think I'm like a real goob for wearing these orange socks but they're merino wool and I got the summer light they are they keep your feet so dry I can't explain how the merino wool works but it works now I'm going to show you guys something cool so if you guys ever watch National Ge the National Geographic channel they had an episode out here on Antelope Island where the birds run with their mouths open and they just eat these flies because they're out here by the millions just show you here these are the the pupas of the flies so if you're a fly fisherman you're familiar with the caddis pupa these are like brine flip pupa they're casings that have already already hatched and some are still in the process of hatching millions of them it goes on forever My beautiful wife. Flo. And go on the other side, mama. Go.
side. We're uh, at the trailhead. We're gonna hike to that peak right above my hat. So here's the trails. There's two trailheads here. We got Ferry Peak Trail, which is 3.2 miles, on about a 2,000 feet. Yeah, 2,084 feet elevation gain. And then you got Dooley Knob Spur which is only a half mile. So we're gonna go ahead and hike up Dooley Knob. We're gonna come down. It's only 140 feet, it's only a half a mile. So we're gonna hike up there, take a look at that, come back down, and then we're gonna hike that one to Ferry Peak. So let's go. If you guys can't hike, or if you're handicapped, I mean, it's you can you can see there's a nice you can drive up here and just sit in the car and, and have a beautiful view, and just enjoy God's creation. I'm out of shape. I used to do this all the time. Me and my wife used to get out and backpack. We hiked the highest peak in Arizona in one day with two of our kids, one on my back one on my wife's but that was 15 years ago This is my survival hiking pole that I made. Um, and I don't want to keep getting in my backpack to get my tripod out. So this tripod is so grippy and flexy, I just wrap it around my stick. It's always ready to go. favorite parts of hiking. There's a bird. That's a raven. Look at this drop, guys. Let's get close to the edge. We're not too close. Don't want to be stupid here. Okay guys, I'm going to show you my son. He's standing on top of that rock outcropping. That's where I got to get to next. Quartz. Years ago I used to prospect. And we would look for quartz veins like that. And rocks, and then we'd bust the rocks up and pan them or sluice them.
my wife on the right and Gavin and Nick on the top. I spotted a deer right in the middle of the screen. Okay, it came to a fork in the trail. Gonna head over to Dooley Knob. Okay guys, we're about to crest. It's where we can see over. We'll be able to see the Salt Lake on both sides. I think that's White Castle out there. Um, right over here is the visitor center and a lookout tower. That's the Great Salt Lake. Do a 360. And this is the other side of the Great Salt Lake. This is a, the east side facing towards the Wasatch Front. Looking east, north, west. And we're losing light, so I gotta get moving, guys. Always make sure you guys bring some sort of external battery pack or power source to charge your phone in case you were getting to an emergency, fall down, break your ankle or something. And always tell a friend if you go by yourself, always tell a friend where you're going and approximately when you'll be back. And that's my helpful tip of the hike. Look at that. That's beautiful. Chalmers, did you make it to the peak? Are you ready for the cow, Jody? How about get you? Buffalo, we are headed down the trail. One thing I want to emphasize is that you do bring insect repellent. There's these biting gnats up here <clears throat> that I didn't think were going to be a problem, and they weren't a problem until sundown. After sundown, this is what happens without, without insect repellent. You get lots of little bites all over. So just thought I'd give you, just thought I'd give you guys a heads up so that way you don't forget insect repellent. Oh, wow. What a beautiful sight to see the car. Good night, mountain. What kind of spiders are these guys? They're everywhere out here. Ah! <laughs> you scared me, man. You're <laughs> scary. Dude, they're everywhere. Literally, they're everywhere. Like, I'm not kidding. Well, guys, that's it. That's a wrap. Thanks for tuning in. I'll link all the stuff that I showed you guys earlier on in the video down below, but um, please give the video a like, and I'd appreciate it if you subscribe if you like stuff like this. I'm going to try to post more um, fishing stuff and maybe a few more adventures like this that we go on. But yeah, thanks, guys. Take care.